They said they were expecting around 500 people, and I gotta believe that there's every bit of 500 people up there. Ignite is essentially an idea sharing platform. Now, unless you spent the last six months of your life living under a rock. People come together and speak for about five minutes about any topic they want, except for sales pitches, religion, and politics. You've probably heard the Cash for Clunkers program. The point is to get a creative group of people together and to share their ideas in bite-sized chunks of information. I heard this, and I said to myself, self, I need a car. I had probably 20, 25 people come up to me and tell me that it was a great job and they really connected with it. So that made me feel good. And stand up there, I, I couldn't see anybody because of the bright lights in my face, but I heard the laughter. And to me, that was huge. Hell yeah, I need a car. What red blood American male doesn't want to drive a car that they can't afford to impress people they don't know? This is the second Ignite event, and both times we had a component of entertainment. We had a component of food and beverage, networking built in, and then we tried to make it fun. I think that if you look at some of the other Ignite events that happen around the country and compare them to what we're trying to do here, I really think we've stepped it up a notch, and I think that it's something that other Ignite events could actually borrow from. One of my good friends from high school has done uh, Ignite Baltimore, and it's nothing like this. We've got about 20 or 30 people working behind the scenes to make this happen. Everyone from student volunteers at Michigan State that are working the door for us to Aaron and Alan who own the building and just donate it to us. We were committed to hosting this here because this is a great thing for not only the Old Town community, but the Lansing community. Looking at the faces, and Alan, you can probably watch this, I, I've seen 300 faces that I haven't seen down here before. Exactly. It's been a phenomenal success from what I've seen. The buzz that you hear in the crowd, the fact that we can't get them to shut up during the presentations, people are obviously excited about this and going out after the first set and no one's leaving, that's a really good sign that, that we're doing something right here. The winner and the high school winner of the night, Bill Moore,